Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is Mainus disease, again from Medical Surgical Nursing, which is from Unit ENT, ENT disorders. Let's get started with the video. Mainus disease is a disease condition in which there is inner ear disorder characterized by episodes of vertigo. So in Mainus disease, the main characteristic features become episodes of vertigo. Similar other characteristics are spinning sensation, hearing loss, ear ringing, tinnitus, and ear pressure. That vertigo may cause severe nausea and imbalance of the body. Also, the ear loss, which was gradual in the previous disease, but in this condition, it becomes permanent. Mainus disease mainly affects inner ear. The inner ear is responsible for hearing and balance. In this condition, there is a sensation of spinning, spinning around that leads to hearing problems and the sound in the ear. This is a diagram of Mainus disease where there is problem in the inner ear. There is swelling, inflammation, which has resulted in disturbance in function of the whole organ of inner ear. Etiology of Mainus disease is, first of all, unknown. The first cause and primary cause is unknown. After that, autoimmune disease can be a cause. Allergies can be caused, genetic factors. And also, smokers can develop this disease earlier than others. Clinical features can be episodic, that is in the form of episodes or attack. In vertigo, attacks lasting anywhere begins and can last for a few minutes to 24 hours. Also, there is loss of hearing in the affected ear. And there is tinnitus or ringing sensation in the affected ear. Also, there is oral fullness, that is fullness of ear, loss of balance, headache, nausea, vomiting and sweating caused by severe vertigo. People with Mainus disease do not always experience same kind of symptoms. Because the sign and symptoms is episodic, they experience various kind of sign and symptoms. Diagnosis can be done through audiometry, audio, auditory brainstem test, balance test, that is electronistagmography, CT scan, or MRI. Treatment is basically rehabilitation. So, whatever medicine or anything that we provide to the patient, is just for controlling sign and symptoms. Because there is sensation of vomiting, anti-emetics can be provided, hearing aids can be used. Surgically, the disease is, is generally not managed surgically, but yes, endolymphatic sac procedure can be performed so that the excess endolymph can be drained outside. After that, patient needs a vestibular rehabilitation therapy in which there are exercises to control those vertigo and to maintain the balance of the body. These exercise helps to restore the lost balance and they also help to maintain the hearing ability. In dietary management, patients should avoid things like excess salt, caffeine, chocolate, alcohol, and monosodium glutamate mixed food. In lifestyle changes, patients should rest during vertigo attacks. Patients should eat regularly to help maintain fluids in the body. Also, patients should manage stress and anxieties through medita meditation. If patient is a smoker, patient should quit smoking. Complication of Mainus disease can be unpredictable episode of vertigo, permanent hearing loss, extreme stress and fatigue. Thank you so much. Next topic will be discussed in next video.